Greetings shippers, we're going to dive into a much requested ship that has elicited a number of unique reactions. Some love it, some are confused, and others are downright disgusted. Here on Shipper's Guide, let's dive into the ship known as Bill Dip to discover how the pairing of a boy and an all-powerful cosmic triangle became a viable ship within the Gravity Falls fandom. Gravity Falls is a Disney animated series that ran from 2012 to 2016 and consisted of 40 episodes. The show primarily followed the adventures and misadventures of twins Dipper and Mabel Pines, a pair of preteens spending their summer with their great uncle Stan, or Grunkle Stan. When they discover a mysterious journal that details the town as a hotbed for supernatural activity, their summer takes a turn for the bizarre as the two negotiate coming of age with battling all kinds of mythical, metaphysical, and paranormal beings. During its run, this show cultivated a dedicated fan base definitely a bit over its target demographic, due to its clever blend of adult humor and relatable plot lines mixed in with the standard Disney formula. As a result, there is a very active and engaged fan community involved in many aspects of the fandom, which means, of course, there are ships. Upon the reveal of Bill Cipher, the series' overarching antagonist is a full-fledged character. Beyond the foreshadowing hinted at, Bill fully premiered in the episode Dreamscaperers, the 19th episode of the first season, wherein Bill confronts Dipper and the gang in Stan's Mindscape. It was at that point that this ship began to emerge. It began at first as a crack ship, a crack ship being a ship that has little to no basis and anything found within the fandom, and would seem insane or unfathomable to most people. Deriving from the slang usage of the phrase, must be on crack, popular in the late 90s and early 2000s, usually these ships are played for comedy with the full knowledge that they're a little out there, but sometimes these ships have a way of transforming. Due to the nature of the show and the fact that it revolves around underlying mysteries that unfold throughout the entire series, the show was subject to numerous fan theories and headcanons, and this ship began to look more and more feasible to many. But where this ship really gained credence was in the sock opera episode, episode four of season two, wherein Bill took possession of Dipper's body to form Bipper with lines such as, did you miss me? Admit it, you missed me. And I've been keeping an eye on you, and I must say, I'm impressed. It also canonized the nickname of Pine Tree for Dipper, which was already in common use within the fandom. With these subtextual stones in place, Bill Dip became a viable ship, quickly moving into the spot of favorite for many people. But why is this? How can one ship anyone with a triangle? While Bill Cipher is a cosmic being and demon, so regular rules need not apply, it gives the creator an amazing amount of freedom to dictate actions and still remain within the realm of plausibility. There is also no need for Bill Cipher to remain a triangle. And Human Bill is also very popular within this fandom. Human Bill Cipher has some very lovely fan art as well, wherein the general consensus seems to be that he is ridiculously attractive and has some intense body art in keeping with his triangular design. So if one has overcome the how, it's time to tackle the why. What is the appeal? Let's preface this by saying while this ship can be fluffy and cute, particularly in AUs of Human Bill working in the mystery shack and falling for a more mature teenage dipper, this ship is more often than not very dark. We're dealing with demons, mindscapes, and the attempted destruction of the entire world through an insane apocalypse. Dipper and Bill are engaged in a battle of good versus evil, chaos versus order, and the scales are woefully unbalanced. Based on Bill's ability to fixate on certain individuals, there are a fair few fics dealing with possessive behavior, such as Bill trapping Dipper permanently within the mindscape. How Dipper feels about this varies from author to author, which means some tales fall into the realm of dubious consent or straight up non-con. So for those who like their ships dark and to explore concepts usually conceived of as unpleasant, this is definitely for you. The show itself flirts with some dark imagery and many are willing to dive into the depths of the supernatural, exploring much of the symbolism hinted at within the show. There is also a lot of smut, with Dipper being tormented by Bill nightly or forced into some kind of perverse sexual awakening. And it is here that we need to pause and address a rather large elephant in the room that causes this ship to be very controversial for some. In the canon of the show itself, Dipper Pines is 12 at the show's start and 13 at its conclusion, which makes him very underage for any kind of sexually explicit material, particularly coercive material involving an older individual. 
because of this, there are some who view this pairing as pedophilic and as condoning abuse or even worse, romanticizing it. It is important to note that these are valid concerns. No one wants to make the online world any less safe for minors or put out material that could make someone in a potentially abusive situation come to misinterpret or accept what is happening to them as right or normal. However, that would be an unfair way to categorize this entire fandom. The pairing of an underage dipper with an adult Bill Cipher is not going on anywhere near as frequently as people seem to believe. A good many fics have Dipper aged up to either college years or beyond and returning to Gravity Falls as a young man and encountering Bill then. Human Bill rarely romances anything younger than a 16-year-old Dipper, which admittedly some may still find too scandalous. There is also an acknowledgement by most who do not age Dipper up that this is very dark and is not meant to be enjoyable in the traditional sense or promote any kind of real-life non-consensual relationship, but rather to explore disturbing dynamics and work through negative emotions in a way that can be quite cathartic for some. Others feel that since Bill is a demon, not bound by human conventions and morality, all bets are off, and that fiction is fiction, which can be purely escapist and not necessarily representative of true situations. On these opinions, your mileage may vary, which is why adequate warnings on works are so important. And of course, it is important to make sure that no one is attempting to groom or seduce children with their works. However, the reality of that is much, much smaller than most people fear. Many people simply do not regard age in fiction the same way they do in reality, feeling that fiction is a space to explore the taboo without fear. Though as what they are exploring are taboos, some revulsion by the general public is understandable, especially since it is near impossible to know where someone is coming from online, and expectations can color how a work is perceived. It is here that ship shaming can often occur, as some feel that the authors or artists in question should be shamed into deleting their works, or are unaware of the potential implications. However, not only is the latter statement often untrue, but shaming rarely does anything except start a flame war or cause people to tune each other out. And bullying someone out of a fandom creates a whole new set of problems. While yes, some of these controversial works do exist, it is equally important for those outside this fandom to not paint the entire ship with the same brush and assume that all those supporting it are depraved and disgusting, which is simply inaccurate. There are depraved and disgusting people in every fandom, even in the most vanilla. Still, for those who do not have a tolerance for anything like this, even if it is a small percentage of the overall fandom, then staying away may be for the best, as these two viewpoints are very extreme and almost impossible to reconcile. Both sides have valid points to make, but their emphaticness can make a coexistence difficult. So if you are preparing to write a fix such as this, just beware that you can expect some blowback as people tend to get very heated about such topics, as they are very controversial and many people have had bad experiences or have formed very strong strong opinions on them, so it is difficult for most people to discuss them with any form of neutrality. In the less scandal-driven side of this ship, and fandom in general, people truly go all out when it comes to stretching their creative AU muscles. For example, Bill Dip is also very popular in the Reverse Falls AU-verse, which is a universe wherein Mabel and Dipper are swapped with Gideon and Pacifica, making the Pines twins the villains, and Bill's counterpart, who is often called Will, one of their unwilling lackeys, or perhaps even a good guy. This tends to shift the power dynamic, as Reverse Dipper is cruel and abrasive with a mad lust for power, making him the manipulator of the gentler Reverse Bill, who often has a crush on him. The age difference does not often come into play here as much, as Dipper is in a position of power, though the darkness and abuse can remain, though it seems not to bother people quite as much when it occurs in this fashion. There are also some cool works of Eldritch Bill, a grotesque Cthulian horror dealing with an adult dipper who struggles to keep the world safe from his terrors. You can find most of your tentacled fix here, as well as an appreciation for the truly horrific, for there are those who find immense beauty in the monstrous. And there is left to be had as well, as some see soft edges to Bill that they want to explore, and the ship's crack roots can show through in all kinds of summer vacation AUs, high school AUs, and of course, coffee shop AUs. So it's not all blood and gore, it can be quite innocent and romantic. All in all, there's a lot more to build up than meets the eye. Pun intended. Many different styles of pieces with some creative workmanship that create nuanced new worlds and situations. Their characters on character traits alone do provide lots of what would typically be seen as flirtatious elements for Fickers to play with. The ability to take the world and bend it as far as the creator wants to go, it can be very appealing. 
And the characters in Gravity Falls are all so personable that they're very easy to work with, and so shipping them is not as difficult as it may first seem. Still, it is not for everyone, whether too dark, controversial, or merely baffling. He is a triangle still, but it has definitely moved past its crack ship beginnings to become a unique and interesting pairing in the shipverse. So for those intrigued by the idea of playing around with the character of Bill Cipher, but weirded out by Dipper because of the age dynamic, there is also the Bill Ford ship to explore or if that's a direction you want to go in. A lot of you were curious about this one, so I hope this alleviated some of that curiosity. Are you guys Bill Dip shippers? What do you think of crack pairings in general? Share all those thoughts, as always, down below. This was Shipper's Guide to the Galaxy. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out social media to stay up to date, and as always, stay tuned. For there are as many ships out there as there are stars in the sky.